Ah, we're back, boys. <clears throat> I know it's been a very long time since my last video, but here we are. If you're watching this video, I appreciate you sticking around the channel, even after all this time and showing some support. Now, because I've been gone for so long, I want to make this video as full of content and as jam-packed as I possibly could. And that means it's going to be a long video, so strap in. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas break, holiday break, whatever you call it. A good New Year's, you know, we're back. It is January and it's grind time. Personally, I miss Christmas. I'm still in my Christmas mood. You see, I got my my cold gear on in 2K. I got my scarf, my leg warmers. I'm even wearing my headphones so I could bump the Christmas tunes without anyone hearing me. Let me know what your favorite Christmas songs are or your favorite Christmas artists. You know, I want to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the comments. Just tell me what your favorite Christmas song is. Now, because the rest of the video is going to be so long, I want to make this part a little bit quicker. So let's get right into it. I want to show you what I want to show you guys the build. We're going to show the build in this video, gameplay, all of it. This is the build. This is my pure playmaker build that I uploaded in the last video. It's the build that I use most often at all my players, and it's just perfect. Now, I pretty much guarantee you, you have not seen a build like this on the internet before because no one's making this build because technically speaking in the 2K meta, it's not very good. But if you like to have fun and you're not a complete sweat, then yeah, uh, this, this is actually a good build because you know, we're not all in the 2K league. Also, while you're watching this video, I don't have any script or anything. Usually I like to somewhat plan what I'm gonna say, but I'm not doing that this time because I have you guys in the comments telling me I sound like a robot. So if I still sound like a robot after this, then I, I just give up. But this build, it's called a three point playmaker. You can look at the top, you can see all my uh, physical attributes. I got the 6'3 player, 195 pounds, seven foot wingspan, point guard, obviously. It's called a three-point playmaker because if you go above 77 three-pointer, I believe, to 78, it, it switches from floor general to three-point playmaker, but this isn't a three-point playmaker, guys. Be serious. 78 three-pointer is not a three-point playmaker. Now, to quickly run through it, the thing that makes this build a pure playmaker, and by pure playmaker, I'm talking about pure playmakers compared to past 2K games. Specifically, in my mind, 17, 18, 19, those are the games that the pure playmakers really, really shined. They're pretty good in 20 as well, but that's when we switch over from archetypes to pie charts. So things changed a little bit. Now, in my head, and I think a lot of people have this thought, when I think of a pure playmaker, I think of one thing, and that is the Hall of Fame Dimer Badge. To me, the Hall of Fame Dimer Badge represents pure playmaker. I don't know if it's just me, but that, that's how I feel. So I had to go 96 pass accuracy for the Hall of Fame Dimer and basically every other playmaking badge on Hall or playmaking, every other passing badge on Hall of Fame, aside from a few like Needle Threader and Bailout. Then we have 95 ball handle, 91 speed with ball. So with those, I get Hall of Fame Speed Booster, Hall of Fame Hyper Drive, I get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Hall of Fame Handles for days and basically every dribble move I can imagine. And then <clears throat> speed is 92 because I needed it for the Hall of Fame Hyper Drive and Speed Booster. Acceleration, I don't think is important. I still stand by that. So it's only 77. And I got 45 strength, enough for clamps, 70 vertical, 99 stamina. Let me talk to you about the other stats. I've mentioned it before. I think 70 three pointer is the perfect threshold in this game. I found a jump shot that I absolutely love and 78 is more than enough for me to take every shot that I want to take. And you're going to see in this video how good the 78 three pointer is because originally when I had planned to upload this video, it was going to be about how good a 78 three pointer is. But now, no, I'm just going to make it about my pure playmaker build. The driving's perfectly fine, 77 driving layup and 75 driving dunk. So 75 driving dunk, you unlock every animation you can need. Same with the 45 standing dunk, that's all you need. But then the 77 driving layup, I get gold float game, scooper, and pro touch. So that's also perfect for laying up. Finishing is exactly what I need it. This is the part that people are gonna say it's shit, is the defense. 75 perimeter defense on a 6-3 player. People are gonna say it's shit. Sure, say it's shit. Uh, you get bronze clamps, the 66 interior plus the block will help me actually play defense on the on the inside. And I promise you it does help me against people that are trying to mash with layups and stuff. And the 70 defensive rebound, believe it or not, because I got that seven foot wingspan and the decent vertical, I, I snag boards. I promise you I snag boards and I think I have some clips in the video of me snagging boards. This really pisses me off. And everyone says that builds with low defense are bad. 
But in my, in my eyes, 75 isn't that low. It's probably the lowest I would go because bronze clamps. And I think bronze clamps is like the minimum I would use. But for a small guard that is a little bit more offensive oriented in a 2K game, every every past 2k game before 21 we'll say 75 perimeter defense was considered fine and it should be considered fine for a small guard but apparently not the past few years in 2k i, I want to say the past four years now everything is just a defensive meta people are so scared to lose in a virtual basketball game that they are making their players with 91 steel 93 perimeter and nothing less if you're below like an 85 steel or like an 85 perimeter people will say your build sucks and has no defense so sure if that's where the 2k community wants to head in this toxic direction then continue going there but that i'm telling you right now that is the reason that people say 2k sucks now it's not because of the gameplay it's not because of any of that i think the gameplay in this game is actually pretty good but Everyone's so toxic. They're so afraid to lose that they'll make a build with mediocre offense, but insane defense. So they could just get their bucket where they get it and then clamp up on defense, which I get it. It is an effective way of playing. That's why people do it, but it's not necessarily the most fun. It could be fun to, to beat up on lesser players and spam steals and get blocks, I guess. But for most people that are doing it, they're probably not even enjoying themselves. They're just trying to get the best stats they possibly could. And it's a boring way of playing. I miss the days when we could specialize a little bit more on one or two things and not be just an all around demigod because then people, instead of making, because then people make builds with very high defense and just allow their extremely high defense to carry them in through games, even games that they shouldn't really be winning, but whatever, that's my own take. To be honest, I want to upload a whole video just ranting on 2K and how I think they could fix the game. But 24 is not that bad, so I'll, I'll hold on for now. But that's the build, I'm not gonna talk anymore about the player but i wanted to mention one thing before we start the all the gameplay you're about to watch is pretty old uh most of it was recorded before the new year i believe and i haven't played too much after the new year it's all season three and it's all good it's all pretty good clips it should give you a good idea of this player and how well it can play and i don't really play the most competitive of players. I don't verse the most competitive of players, but in season three, I was playing a lot of Pro-Am and I had a great win percentage in Pro-Am, positive win percentage in Pro-Am easily, positive win percentage in Park easily. And I like to play with randoms a lot too when I play Park. But my three point percentages is what's crazy to me because you saw a 78 three pointer I had and I don't have mid range, so I'm not abusing mid range badges with three pointer, which is not bad by the way. I think it's a really smart thing to do, but I'm not even doing that on this player. And I'm shooting 52% from Pro-Am and 58% in Park with a with a 73 ball. And I'm pretty trigger happy with my shots. Like I don't just shoot basic spot up standstills. I do like to make my own shot where I can. But obviously with a 78, you have to play a little smarter, but it's definitely possible. And I hope you guys realize that it's possible by watching this video. And with that being said, let's get, let's get into the gameplays. Why not? Okay, guys, here's the first gameplay. Honestly, most of these games were recorded so long ago that I don't remember them freshly off the top of my head. I like to record and then edit pretty much right away because the games are fresh in my head. I know what I'm talking about, especially if I'm doing a live comm, it's easy, you know? I know exactly how to do it and it comes out nice and smooth, but that's not the case today. I'm I'm live comm, live comic? No, I'm, voice I'm voicing over games from like a month ago. So, you know, bear with me a little bit. This might not be the best of videos, and I'm sorry if it isn't, but I really should have uploaded last week. I knew I was gonna, it was gonna be hard to upload before the 6th of January, but it's been about a week since that, and I still haven't uploaded because I've been trying to make this video so good because it's been so long since I last uploaded, and I think it's because I'm trying to do that that I haven't been uploading yet because I'm trying to make this video perfect and it's just not gonna happen. So, you know, this is the video. You can see I'm very quick on this player. I'm, I'm sending dots. That's my favorite thing to do. I'm a pass first player. So I'm gonna be sending a lot of passes, especially the breakout passes. I love grabbing boards with that 70 rebound and then swinging breakout passes with a 96 pass accuracy. It's so satisfying and I don't even have Hall of Fame break starter on this player yet. So once I get that, it'll be insane. But the Hall of Fame Dimer goes crazy, especially for me because I like to play with randoms. Look at that. It's a fairly deep shot. Get that, that spot up and it's it's green. With the Hall of Fame Dimer, I'm so confident that even my randoms are gonna hit shots because it it just 
boost your shot so much. Now, I don't know the exact stats for it, but trust me, it, it's, a, it's a nice boost because I have a few buddies that play with a meter and they tell me that their meter looks a decent amount bigger when I give them the ball off dimer versus a regular shot. And look at that, another deep shot. This build could shoot so well, even with a 73 pointer. And I know I have takeover, but you'll see some clips later. I don't have takeover and I'm still shooting the lights out. Now this game, me and this guy were going back and forth pretty, pretty heavily. And now I have my chance to game it here. I'm already two threes deep. He's doing pretty good playing defense. Yeah, he called for a switch specifically because the other guy couldn't guard me, but he guessed the wrong side there. And I take a fading corner three for game. Fading with the 78 three pointer. With takeover, it's definitely possible. And I don't shoot a lot of fades because it's not my style, but I kind of got pulled into one there and I had, to shoot, I had to shoot it. I wasn't going to pass out of that. That was the shot that needed to be taken. And we knocked it down. Next game. I think the next few games the guys I'm playing with aren't great, but they're not terrible. So obviously I haven't uploaded in a while. And that's mainly because I couldn't get this video out. I was just too worried about trying to make it perfect. And I know it's not going to be perfect. So I know I just need to get this video out and that'll get the ball rolling. But the big thing I needed to bring up is the fact that I want to start uploading other games. So from the beginning of this channel, I always told myself that I didn't want to just be a one game kind of person. I know that's probably the most effective way to build a following, but it's not just about that for me. I need to be enjoying myself as well while I'm doing this because I'll burn out or else. And playing one game only will definitely burn me out. So. My plan for the future is to keep 2K as a primary upload, but still experiment with other games, things that I'm playing on the side and upload those here and there. So I have a little bit of everything, but mainly the 2K is still the primary thing. And I hope you guys enjoy that because I don't want you to just watch me for 2K. I want you to watch me because you like my content and you like me as a creator. But with that being said, let's get into the next set of gameplays where I'm doing a live com. So I hope you guys enjoy. So of course there's a 6-2 in the game and instead I'm going up against a 6-8 because that's who the point guard is. And he is a GOAT tier player, best player on their team easily. This is going to be an interesting game. Oh, nice steal. That was a big steal. We need to do this game. We got to actually try. This is disrupt the, to disrupt. Oh, I didn't, I didn't wait long enough. Give me that. Nice. Look at that ball movement. Look at that ball movement, baby. Let's... Good shot. It's a good shot, man. That's such a good shot. It's a good shot. Oh my God. We are just... Oh, he's coming in. I didn't realize he was going to come in. Why would you come in? Okay, that's fine. Good defense, man. Good defense. Oh, nice move. Oh, my 21. Nice move. No, it's out of bounds. No. How deep I'm pulling up with a 78 three pointer. Like that is a 70 fucking eight three pointer. That's in. He missed. Oh my god. 95 three pointer. He missed that. Wow. 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 Ah, he can't shoot. I forgot this guy can't shoot. 
No, it's nine seconds. What are we putting up? Oh, and you turn the ball over right after. Oh, it's rough, man. Oh my god, what are we doing? Bro, give me the fucking ball. I'll put the ball. That steal was so. Are we really? Okay, whatever. You're just doing the same shit, bro. Oh my. How many points? He missed three threes with a 95 three-pointer. I don't get it. Ah, uh, three would have been a little bit more helpful. Goody, goody. Step up. He got it. He got it. Oh my God. Now that last game just, what a, what a poor way to lose. Magic Johnson cross launch into a glitchy layup where he just beat goes through my defender even though my teammate was playing good defense. Not much we could not much we could do about that. We played a good game. But now the rest of the videos I think it's a mix of clips from a few different games. And honestly, I think it showcases my player pretty well. I think I really really utilized the floaters here. Look, I get inside, hit him with the then again, this one's my favorite. Look how deep this floater comes out from. Far away. If you're wondering what the layup package is, Jason Williams. White chocolate, baby. Then you see my guy grabbing the board. I told you the rebounding ability is great. Look at the animations I'm getting for rebounds. And then just tossing that break starter pass, full court, Hall of Fame break starter. It's insane. And here we get the ball again. Come in for another floater. Oh, no. Yeah, I went for a floater. But then I did that. That's a great pop for my teammate. That guy with the Christmas clothes was making great off ball movements all game. Once again, dotting him. That's a green. This guy was cash money. Oh, this is my, oh, this plays nice. Get the ball up here, actually take over and I cook up a little bit. Hit him with the glitchy jaw move to spin around into the step back behind the back inside. Just an easy little scoop layup. And I get smacked in my ass. And we come up for the next play. Ooh, hit him with the nutmeg. This is new footage to me too, because I haven't watched this in a long time. Coming up the court, getting the ankle breaker stun and hitting the half court shot. You gotta love it. I think I just mess around here now, try and go for some deep shots. I honestly should have I, I honestly should have hit that, but I didn't. And then I go for this wild shot. But finally, I say, end it, teammate. I'm good. I've got my chances. Let's get on to the next game. You can see that even without takeover, I'm able to three hunt on my player really well. You can play three hunt off screens. You can make your own shot. It's all it's all really good. He makes a nice stop. I would have put it to the corner here, but honestly, this guy already missed a shot. And at this point, I wasn't 100% sure how good of a shooter he was, but he ends up proving himself later on for sure. Beautiful steal. We get that ball instantly, pull it up. No takeover once again, and we're green in it. Back to the corner. Bang. Once again, they're leaving this guy open. I don't know why, but he's going to pull that up every time and he's going to hit it. Another rebound for myself. Swing out the full court pass. I just love that that rebound, uh, that rebound chaser and break starter combo. It's so beautiful. And then this guy hits, what, a fading three for game? Yep. And that's it. That's the end of the, that's the, end of the game, please, guys. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. First one back. I know it's probably not the greatest, but I did my best. Next video gonna keep gonna be out very soon. I have a new build I want to show you guys. Actually, I have a few builds I need to show you guys. I got the Allen Iverson build in the works still. I have a new big man that I just created that 
I just, I love it. I've been using them a lot with my buddies on twos and I gotta say, it's just sick. So keep an eye out on the channel for those videos because they're gonna be dropping. Honestly, 2K is in a good, pretty good spot right now. I've been having a lot of fun on it. And uh, keep an eye out for new games as well. I'm gonna be switching things up a little bit, like I said. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna stop talking. The video is already long enough. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a beautiful day.